Bye. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so my father's been asking me to eat at Wingstop for the longest. But the only problem being that there have been no locations in my area until I think like a month ago when they finally built one. To be honest, there's been like quite a few new Wings places like opening up lately. A couple like local ones and a couple like bigger ones like Wingstop obvi obviously. And honestly, the funny thing about the Wingstop that, that opened near me, oh my god bro. Look at this. This place has a 2.8 rating. That is horrible. There's only really one other restaurant that I can think of that has that low of a rating and this is one Chinese place in East Lansing. But that has like a 2.9 so this actually beats it by literally 0.1. Bro, these reviews are not it man. Same management is bad, the food is coming out three hours after they they ordered. Yikes. Alright, whatever though. We gotta we gotta try this place out to see if it's actually bad or not. I'm probably gonna go for the 16.99 wing deal with what, what what does it come with? 20 boneless wings, four flavors with a large fry and two dips. Alright, but alright, well, I hope that it's actually on time. And I don't have to wait three hours for my wings. Can I also have a cup of water, please? Alright. <laughs> Some interesting stuff. Yeah, honestly, on the inside, it was pretty clean. There's nothing wrong with that. Um my food was ready on time, thankfully. <laughs> One thing that I definitely kind of laughed at though is that they have they have no napkins. They have like a they have a paper towel roll that you can just like swirl around and uh, whatever you need, just grab that. And it's it's not even the good kind. It's the I don't know what this is. It's it's not good. All right, but enough with the napkins or whatever. What really matters is how the how the food is itself. And then first off, we got some Cajun fries. Well done. Not as crispy. Oh yeah, actually not crispy at all but it is pretty good. Also got some ranch as well. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is actually my very first time eating Wingstop. So I'm not the fan of like liquidy ranch. I like mine with a bit more thickness in it. So it's pretty good though. All right, let's put to the <coughs> <it's> Cajun. <coughs> um, all right, let's put the sides to the side. All right, so I ended up getting four different flavors, five each. This is their garlic. Oh my God, what the hell? Oh, I just spilled this. What? I thought it was a dry rub. Why is it all wet? Oh, I just got oil everywhere, man. No, it's all, oh my God, it's all over my pants and all the steering wheel. Oh, and all over the tripod. All right, it's not too bad. I'm gonna have to clean the rest of it once I'm done with this review though. So I guess the dry rub isn't that dry. So I got their lemon pepper right here, which is supposed to be a dry rub. I don't know why it's so wet. The website says this is their most popular thing, so. Oh, let's, let's try it out. Oh, compared to the B-dubs uh, lemon pepper, if you guys ever had that, this has a lot more lemon flavor to it. Personally, it's a bit too much lemon uh, lemon flavor for me, but it's still pretty good. All right, this is one thing I did not like about this place. I don't know why, but they put, in this small container, they put two different flavors and separated it with a, like a baggie. Honestly, I give this one like six and a half out of 10, you know? It's good, but I don't know, it's not doing it for me though. Next, I got the Hickory Barbecue. Not the biggest barbecue fan. I don't like my wings on the sweet side or any food really. Usually more on the savory or the or spicy side. It just needs to have like some sort of kick to it. What's the difference between Hickory Barbecue and like regular barbecue? I, I Honestly, I really don't know, but it just tastes like regular barbecue to me. You give like a five out of 10. And no, honestly, the only reason why I even got barbecue was because um, we do need some some sort of variety, you know what I mean? On to the next two flavors, the last two. This is their, this is a limited edition one. Honey barbecue, honey barbecue rub. Looks amazing. I think out of the all out of all the wings, this one looks the best. Like the flavor, like, oh yeah. This place, tastes good, but the, honestly, they needed to toss these a lot more. If these, if they actually toss these around, really got these bad boys wet, this would be way better. Looks wise 10 out of 10, flavor wise, I give it a seven. All right, the very last wing flavor I got. My friend Noor, shout out to Noor, he recommended me this flavor. So their hot Korean flavor right here. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. It really hit my nose like that, but it really wasn't that spicy. All right, so after finally eating all four of these wings, definitely the hot honey is the best best one. Korean one, I'll give, I'll give it like a 6.5 as well. I don't know how to describe it. like these wings, they taste good, but they're just not hidden like that, bro. I don't know, maybe I'm just not in a wing mood or something. 
All right, you know what? Honestly, when it came down to it, it really wasn't that all bad. Does it deserve a 2.8 rating? I don't think so. But I can tell that the, whoever the owner is, the manager, the stuff they like invested in is some cheaper stuff. Would I recommend this place over B-dubs? Hell no. Bro, B-dubs is my baby, bro. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.